OSPF reference bandwidth. By default, the reference bandwidth is 100 Mbps. And this is how you can, this is the formula that you can use to get the, the cost. So cost uh, equals reference bandwidth divided by interface bandwidth. And this is an example here. So in this example, it is, this is just 100 Mbps. I mean, yeah, because that's the default, by the way. And this is the, so in this case, this is just a fast ethernet uh, interface. So if you, if you, calculate calculate that then you get one <clears throat> so to adjust the reference bandwidth use the auto cost reference bandwidth uh, command uh, value actually you can command yeah that's fine this command must be configured on every router throughout the in, entire network. So if you want to, or you plan, you plan to change the, the reference bandwidth, uh, this is how you do it. But this is the command to do it. And this is an example here. But you have to do it on, uh, on all the routers throughout uh, the entire network. So I'm actually going to I'm not sure if I already did it. So I have this topology here, and I'm just logged into R1. Let me verify. So in R1, we only have uh, gigabit uh, Ethernet ports or interfaces. We don't have a hundred uh, a fast Ethernet port, so we're not able to. Uh, test this here, but yeah, that's the that's the uh, uh, a bandwidth of a fast Ethernet. <clears throat> okay, so let me verify the OSPF configurations. So yeah, nothing is configured here. And you can actually verify the default reference bandwidth by doing this command here. So in this router, the, the uh, default value is 100 Mbps. This is in, in Mbps. So, uh, in our case, since we have uh, gigabit internet, gigabit Ethernet ports, we would have to, we would probably need to uh, increase the reference bandwidth to 1000 because by default, uh, OSPF can only support a integer number, so it cannot support a decimal, cannot support decimal numbers. So, yeah, that's how you would do it. But actually, it's a, I, I, I check the, the reference here, and it is, I mean, the reference bandwidth, and it's set to 100 Mbps, as we saw also in this output here where is it here and if we check this interface here going to uh, r2 we see that the it is the bandwidth is set to uh, one gig Yeah, one gig. And
and if we check the cost or if we verify the cost <clears throat> it's actually set to one so Uh, looks like what happened here is this one, this uh, this formula. So um, the reference bandwidth is set to one one hundred Mbps, and it didn't didn't divide it divide it, or it it was it isn't divided by to uh, to one gig because you're not gonna get uh, one cost if you do that right so let's try that so let's say this is the this is 100 uh, mbps in uh, kbps so if we do that divided by, so it's gonna be, let's see, we saw it here. This is the here. This is the value of one gig in uh, a kilo, no kbps. So let's do that. Let me do it again. divided by yeah oops divided by this value you don't get the you you get 0 0.1 <clears throat> so i think the router or the ios actually did this instead of divided well, no. Yeah, but for some reason it is one. So they did not uh, do this formula here. But that's how you can actually uh, change the reference bandwidth. And this is the, again, this is the formula. And it is, the reference bandwidth is set to 100 Mbps. Uh, at, at least in iOS routers and this is how you would uh, this is the command that uh, you would that you will use to change it you know what let me go ahead and change it just to show you how what it looks like yeah it says here that reference bandwidth is changed please ensure reference bandwidth is consistent across all routers so you have to do it on all the routers that you have in your network. And if we do this command here, you would we should see that value. It's it is now um, 1,000 Mbps as compared to earlier that it was uh, 100 100 Mbps. So yeah, that's how you can configure reference reference bandwidth. Or yeah, or change it. Uh, so yeah, um, and this is the the formula, and this is an this is an example. So that's all I want to talk about in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.